Two recent rent rises are straining Tina's monthly budget to breaking point. I don't buy anything that I don't need, obviously, um, but in the last week or so it can be a bit difficult to make what food's left stretch until payday. The hobby artist longs to be closer to family by moving from Melbourne's Mornington Peninsula up the road to Frankston. But when she began looking, she found herself facing a growing mismatch between supply and demand. I can see the smaller units that I could afford are very few and far between. Large houses dominate Frankston, where just one in five homes has only one or two bedrooms. It's a problem strickening Melbourne's growth corridors, like Hume and Whittlesea, where those smaller houses make up just one in ten homes, or Melton, just one in twenty. Several councils are now calling for a better mix to prevent small or low-income households slipping further into housing stress. It just makes it difficult for people to live locally and continue to live locally and have the support of their community around them. Despite the dominance of larger homes, more and more of us are living alone. Single-person households will become the state's fastest-growing household type over the next 10 years or so, and that raises some big questions about where those people will live. Well-planned, higher-density living is an obvious solution to a long gestating problem, but market forces leave it easier said than done. Developers will deliver what the market obviously is asking for um, and at the moment the market you know that there's a mismatch between that and what the planning policy is calling for. As does the endurance of the Australian dream. Jessie Thompson, ABC News, Melbourne.